everyone welcome back for another tutorial so today we're going to be doing those really cool very popular Spotify music album keychain so I'm going to go ahead and take you from the very beginning on designing them uh, printing and then we'll go ahead and press it and put it all together and show you guys the final product so stay tuned <music> to be working with Photoshop CC 2020 and I'm going to go ahead and kind of briefly talk about how you can do this as well using Silhouette Studio but let's go ahead and get started so for me I'm going to go ahead and use eight and a half by eleven as you can see how everything looks here is what I'm going to be using as far as my document goes now, if yours for some reason says pixels, all you have to do is click here in the drop down menu and just select inches. And you can go ahead and type in 8.5 by 11. And the reason why I'm choosing this is because I'm going to be printing my template first to make sure that it fits correctly before I send this to my 7720 to print. All right, so now that we've got everything down packed, We'll go ahead and click create. So let's go ahead and bring in our template and our design. And I'll just put this right up here. And you can hit the check mark there to release it. And the music design. And let's go ahead and center this out and hit enter, or you can hit that check mark. I'm going to go ahead and make this background invisible. I'm just going to select the eye right here so that I'm able to go ahead and just focus on this part of my design. Now you'll have to go into your Spotify to see what you know picture and album that you want to use. I tried seeing if you can just kind of copy the album cover from here from here but you're not able to so in order to do that we'll just go ahead and type in the album cover we'll go ahead and type that into Google and I'm going to go into Google images and select the best one All right, so we'll go into images and we'll go ahead and see. This one is a pretty good size. All right, you're just gonna go ahead and right click, save image as, and I've already saved one on here. Uh, just wherever you wanna go ahead and save it, if you wanna save it to your desktop to make sure that it's there, just hit save. Sometimes your photos and stuff will go ahead and save down here. But if, if it does, you can totally just click it, drag and drop it into Photoshop. The other way that would work as well would be to, of course, go into your files, desktop and just drag and drop. Same thing would be if you were to be using Silhouette Studio. So here we're going to go ahead and hit enter to release it. I'm also going to go ahead and bring in the Spotify code. So let's see. We'll go here. Now when you're in Spotify you have two options. You know you'll have to go ahead and search for whatever song or album that you're looking for. In this case, I chose this one. And the cool thing is, is that you have two options. You can either copy the album link to where when you play the code, it'll play everything in the album, or you can actually choose the song. So if we choose the album, you would click the three dots and click copy album link. And as you can see here, it's been copied to my clipboard. Now, if there's a specific song, 
let's say for a wedding or just anything in particular, then you would find the three dots here and copy song link. So either or. In this case for me, I'm gonna just, just going to go ahead and use the album link. I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to type in Spotify codes. And let's go back to all. All right, and right here, www.spotifycodes.com. And we'll go ahead and click on there. And this part is super simple. What you do is I'm going to double click, right click, and hit paste. That is the album cover link. Or if you're going to use the song, obviously just go and click the three dots for the song one. And I'm just going to click Get Spotify Code. Now your code right here is generated. As you can see, it says the album name, the artist, and you have the option to go ahead and change the color. In this case, you can either A, change, in this case, the background color is black, as we know, or if you don't know, uh, black is all zeros. If you want a white background, it would be all Fs. As you can see, it turned white and then I could change the bar color to black. So in case if you do just want the Spotify code to be basically a white background with the black circle with the black code, then that's basically how you would do that. But in this case, I wanna go ahead and use a back, black background by typing in all zeros with the white background, I'm sorry, white barcode. The size probably really doesn't matter, but 640 picks is fine. But what we're going to do in this case, I'm going to save it as a PNG. If you are doing this in Silhouette Studio, um, you know, you might want to save it as an SVG um, for whatever, you know, for your cutting purposes. But if you're doing sublimation, you can still use PNG or Silhouette Studio. But in this case, for Photoshop, we'll go ahead and use PNG. I'm going to go ahead and hit download. Whee! And then, of course, it's going to do its thing. And now it generated my code for my chosen album. Alrighty. Now, to figure out where it put it, I have no idea, but we will find it. And totally, it'll probably be in my downloads. Yep, and here we go. And I'm just gonna hit OK. So for right now, uh, let's change this. So I'm gonna double click and change this to code. And I'm just gonna hide it don't want to work with it for right now because right now I want to work with the album cover so I'm going to hit control T and I want to shrink this now as you can see it does not look good I don't even know how it's supposed to look now um, one way to go ahead and make sure that you keep the aspect ratio to shrink this while it maintains the same shape so it doesn't look funny you can come up here to where this little chain lock when you click on it, it'll darken around showing you that it's been selected. And now I can go ahead and resize this without compromising the shape of it. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and I'm going to zoom by hitting control and plus sign and scroll up. Now let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's go ahead and bring back our code and we're going to hit control T and I'm going to resize this, shrink this down. For me, I decided that I want my code to be right here where the rectangle spot is because I'm going to type in the album name and artist underneath 
how you want to do this will depend you know it's totally up to you some will just kind of like put the code right here of course uh, if you want it with the black background with the white cool if not I showed you how you can flip flop the the way to do it uh, but you can have it that way with the album in here and call it a day without any name to it but you know it's just depends there's different ways to go about it for me I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here uh, now I want to go ahead and create a rectangle to fill up that uh, to fill up this gap here and then we'll go ahead and work on the album cover but I'm just gonna come here to the right right click get my rectangle tool make sure that my fill is black my stroke is transparent because I really don't need that and I'm just going to create a rectangle alright hopefully it's to the right size now I'm going to take my rectangle layer and put it underneath the code and if I zoom in it looks like the codes just slightly higher and I'm just going to bring it down So now it looks nice and even. Same thing in Photoshop. I mean, I'm sorry. Same thing in Silhouette Studio. You can just create a black rectangle to go ahead and fill it in, seal it up. Now I'll go ahead and work on my album cover. Now I can go ahead and bring this down underneath the music player layer. Nope, hold on. right let's bring this nope okay there we go so I needed to bring my album cover underneath the music player actually underneath the code music player and that new rectangle that I made so that it'll line up behind this spot now I can just easily go ahead and erase the excess that's out easy peasy now if you don't like the fact that it has the white border um, there's different things you can do you can resize the rectangle uh, just to make it a little bit more narrow or the other thing you can do is just kinda make a duplicate let me zoom back out okay I'm gonna duplicate this layer duplicate the layer click OK. I'm going to put this underneath and now I'm going to hit Control T and I'm just going to oh wait I don't want this blocked. I just want to take the sides alrighty and I guess if I want to kind of blend it in more to make it not as harsh, I can just go to my eraser tool, go to a soft round brush, and just kind of erase it there to kind of blend it in. So that's just kind of one way. And Silhouette Studio, you can definitely, um, oh, hold on, just can it save out of the area. Okay, so in Silhouette Studio you could do relatively the same thing where you can just kind of take a duplicate of the layer and just kind of enlarge it behind just to kind of fill it in. The only part that may be a little bit hard would be to kind of fade out the edges, but like I said, you can get totally creative. Now we have the code right here, the album cover, everything looks great. Um, the other thing you can do as well is actually clip into this whole area if you don't want it to be white. Uh, let's see. Just to kind of give you guys an idea. Let's see. Well, I'll just go ahead and use the album cover again as well. Or let's just say maybe like the color of it. That might work. If I 
can just get a good clear spot. Yep, perfect. All right, so in order to go ahead and do a clipping mask in Photoshop, basically I want the new album cover layer and I want it to go inside the template. So you got to make sure that your layers are set up correctly where you want the album to be above the template. Once you have that set up, then it'll work correctly. So you'll go ahead and right click on the top layer and come down to where it says create clipping mask and boom. And what I'm going to do is use my mouse to kind of bring it that way. Um, you can use like a photo collage, you could use an animal print, whatever you decide to use, you can if that's what you want to clip it. Now if you want it to be a solid color, then you could have just done a solid fill. And I'll go ahead and delete this to show you really quick. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either come here and use your paint bucket tool. Let's choose a color real quick. Um, actually we'll choose like a dark gray and where's my paint bucket tool? Here we go. I'm going to make sure that it's set to normal. 100% um, is the opacity and tolerance should be 32. I'm going to click here. Of course um, in Photoshop you have to rasterize the the template layer and go ahead and click and then you can color it. Now the other way to go ahead and also do a quick solid fill would be to go to your music layer template only layer, sorry, come down to the FX button as you can see here, go to color overlay and you can change the color as well. So th those are your options. Um, another fun thing you can do is gradients. Let's see if you want a rainbow type gradient. That actually looks pretty cool. Or if you want to choose a pattern. Um, let's see. Now you have the option to use a pattern if you have a, your own personal pattern so it, it you know it just all depends how you want to do this but in this case let's see actually I'm but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it white and um, we'll go ahead and actually go and do the last thing which would be to type in the album name here as well as the artist. Go ahead and take click on our text tool here and I'm going to go over to the character panel. Alright so the font used that relatively matches closely I believe is actually let's see it starts with an H like how Victor there we go hell Victor and I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly but let's just pretend that's what it is all right so I'm going to go ahead and change my text color to black. Make sure that uh, you take your mouse and drag it all the way down into the corner to make sure that all of these are zeros to get a true black. Um, or you can just type in all zeros. Choice is up to you. And so we'll go ahead and start here. Alright, so I'm going to type in the album, let's see, 
there again, flora. Now I'm not digging how how it looks kind of smushed. So I'm going to go ahead and do my thing. I'm going to make the font a little bit wider. That looks better. And we'll come underneath here. And let's take this off. And I'll type in the artist. Alright. And now with the artist's name, let me go ahead and highlight it all. Um, I want to make that a little bit more, let's see if I can make this a little bit thinner. Don't want it to look as prominent, so there's like a differentiation. Alright, let's hit OK. And I'm going to go, let's make this bold and see if that'll kind of, okay, there we go. Now it's going to look funny because I'm kind of zoomed in. Uh, let's see. Alright, so using the purple guidelines, I know that the A and the U is correctly aligned on the left, and it looks good. But depending where you want it to be aligned will depend on, you know, how you want it to all fall together. And I can just kind of select these two. And, uh, you know, if I want to align it over here, if I want it to be more aligned under this part, which probably is what I kind of like better. All right. And so that's pretty much it as far as kind of like putting it all together. But like I said, the part where you want to put the code, the name and everything, how you want to set up the picture, if you want a background to it to fill up the white, you know, it's totally up to you. Now, if you're using this in Silhouette Studio, say you do not want the, you know, if you want to go ahead and take this part to be a different color, or if you want it to be white because you want the whole background to be black, then in that case you would have to trace the rectangle, this bar and everything, and then fill it in with the color that you want to choose. Same thing would be with the um, outline, you would just trace it, and then you could use a fill for your gradient overlay or for the solid color if the fill does not work. Um, now if you want to use a pattern, um, how I was trying to do earlier where I used the piece of the album as the background color, what I did was in Photoshop I used a clipping mask. In Silhouette Studio I would have taken the album, placed it on top of the template, make sure those two are selected, and then went over onto the right side and used the cut tool so that it would have just cut the album out and left it with this template shape in order for it to quote unquote fill. So hopefully that kind of made some sense or if you're used to if you've done it before but just you know hopefully that brings that connection in all right so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print it uh, using my regular printer to make sure that my design is set up correctly let's see that's my printer but that is not the correct size. Right now, as if you can kind of see, it says 12.9 by 19. That is not my correct paper size. So, I want to make sure, let's... Okay. I want to make sure that my paper size is correct. Okay, so it is set up as letter. Okay, so everything looks good, so it should fix right here. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Let me click back to portrait. And I'm going to hit print.
Okay, so now the last thing, now that we've printed the template, now this is just from the regular printer because before I print off my 7720 and wasting sublimation ink and paper, I decided to print using regular copy paper, my printer, the template. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my blank and I'm just gonna make sure that it lines up and as you can see, the outline fits perfectly. As you can see there, there, and to the side. So it looks like it's all good to go. Now I'll just go ahead and print this off my 7720 and we'll get rocking on pressing this. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is go ahead and press our music player, Spotify keychain. You'll definitely need to have it printed from your sublimation printer, your blank. And if you are doing the kind that has the split ring and the little O-ring and stuff like that, then you'll need some kind of tools to help close it. And these are the ones that I will be using. These I got from Walmart as a set. And then of course some heat tape. So go ahead and make sure that your heat press is preheated to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and have my template here. And then I'm going to go ahead and peel off the coating. Now these are pretty cool because you'll um, be able to take the same design and put them on any kind of different kinds of keychains that, that are out there. People are using these on this type of design on glass, using vinyl, you can sublimate. You know, there's so many fun things that you can do with these. Uh, one of the things that come in mind with the holidays coming up is definitely giving these out as stocking stuffers. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and align this to where the black border's on the edge. I'm gonna take a piece of heat tape and secure that down make sure everything looks good all right let's take this over to the heat press all right so as i mentioned before i have my heat press set to 380 degrees fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 seconds i'm going to give a quick look to make sure nothing shifted and there we go so i'm going to go ahead and close this at a medium pressure nothing to tight doesn't need that much pressure all right and we are about ready three two one okay so what I'd like to do first I like to make sure that before I take anything off the press I like to just kind of lift to make sure that we got everything as long as the transfer doesn't move we are, I would be good to, still to go ahead and put it back in the press, but it looks great. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take this off the press and take it back over here. Now this will be kind of hot, so I'm just going to take this tray real quick and just kind of let me take this off. All right, so now it's a little bit cooler to the touch, but here we go. And to tie the last piece together, my blanks will go ahead and come with these little rings. And all you have to do is just get the keychain that you like. And with these tools, like I said, they'll help you just grip them so that you can close them together. And boom.
All right, so with our blank already pressed, now we're ready to go ahead and see if the code works. You'll go into your Spotify account. You'll go ahead and click on the search button. And up here in the corner, you'll go ahead and click the little camera. So we'll go ahead and put the code right here. And boom, it has the whole album. So as I mentioned before at the beginning of the video, you're able to go ahead and either use the whole album or just a single song. So if you're at work, in the car, or whatever, you'll have your favorite song or favorite album with you. These would make great Christmas gifts, anniversary gifts, a nice little gift for your girlfriend or boyfriend, doesn't matter who, even your best friend, you guys have a favorite song. You know, the possibilities are en endless and it's a really neat and creative gift idea. But anyhow, if you guys do make one yourself, Go ahead and post it in the group. I would love to see what you would create. But at the end of the day, I love these. These are fun. These are definitely on my top five gifts to give this year as a stocking stuffer for my family members. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next tutorial.